Well, this year marks the centennial celebration of women earning the right to vote. And that historic moment in 1920, of course, has an East Tennessee connection. We check in with Leslie Ackerson now. You may have seen this statue in Market Square in downtown Knoxville. It pays tribute to a mother and son duo, but behind their bronze faces is a truly incredible story. It all starts in a small town with just one traffic light. Let's go to McMinn County. Nestled in a small Tennessee town, this brick Nyota farmhouse bore witness to a pivotal moment in history. Home to Harry Byrne, a young Tennessee state representative who found himself in the middle of a heated debate. The United States Congress had proposed the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. Then the amendment completely stalled. It has hit a brick wall. With 35 states ratifying it, it was still one state shy of what it needed to pass. The Deep South wasn't going to go for this. There were some New England states that were kind of on the fence. So it all came down to Tennessee in August 1920. A decision that weighed on the shoulders of Nyota's young Harry Byrne. All the constituents here in McMinn County kept telling him, no, 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 don't vote for women. You know, we, we don't want to ruin our country and let them have the right to vote. But we all know the phrase, mother knows best. It's safe to say that Harry T. Byrne was a mama's boy. Back at the family home, Harry's widowed mother, Feb, was managing the 120-acre farm. She was well-read and college-educated. She managed it successfully, yet yeah, she didn't own it. But she paid the taxes, but she couldn't vote. And the men working for her, a lot of them couldn't even read, but they could vote. She thought that wasn't right. His mother read a very bitter speech, as she put it, that was given by his mentor. Um, that's when she decided that she was going to sit down and write him a letter. The matriarch settled in with pen and paper on the front porch. Weaved between updates on the farm and neighbors was a not so subtle message. Hurrah and vote for suffrage and don't leave them in doubt. And in the end, he decided a mother's advice is, you know, good advice to take. So that's what he did. And he ended up casting the deciding vote to ratify the 19th Amendment. With that, securing a right for millions of generations. To help people learn more about Harry and Feb's story, her great-great-grandson, Tyler, wrote a book called Tennessee Statesman Harry T. Byrne that is available now. The Byrne's ancestors hope the story will also encourage people to be informed and active in their local, state, and federal elections.